And it's time for the moment that I've kind of been putting off. Dread Balloon is finally out, and I haven't played Dread Balloon a lot, but from what I'm heard, he's absolutely terrible, and from what I've experienced, he's even worse than I could have possibly imagined. So, let's just go straight into this, I guess. I'm gonna start by putting out my free Dart Monkey, and I don't have Ben, which is super sad. I have to use Sada. I don't really want to use her because early game she's just not as good so i'm just gonna go straight into farming as soon as i can most likely since you do start with 1100 getting down your first farm on round two is really really nice now paragons are allowed which is interesting so we might be able to put down um well i don't know what paragon would we use we could do a dark monkey paragon but that's only good for the, the final three stages the first stage you still need something to take care of we could go for an Engineer Paragon, but that's pretty expensive at 650000 What we're going to do is we're going to go until we have three 200 farms down, and then we're going to get down our Engineer, upgrade it to a 014, and figure out what to do from there. At that point, we should be making lots of money. And actually, let's do the Engineer down right now and not upgrade him just for more defense, because that is pretty sketchy and we're already down to 114. One other thing we're going to be using this game is the Alchemist, because there's actually a ton of leads, especially early game, so having down a lead to gold is extremely valuable. Okay, and now let's start upgrading. We're going to go for a double gun, and then we're actually going to get down an Alchemist and start working towards that, because it's also good for AoE damage. So let's get our Alchemist down near the beginning here, and we'll set it to target strong for now. And let's get the enhanced eyesight for the monkey just to get rid of that camo for now and we can also now afford balloon traps so let's get a balloon trap and then the larger service area put that as close to the entrance as we can we actually want it a bit down because then it's going to capture everything going through the loop again as well if it misses anything on the first go we need to get lead to gold as soon as we can now you can see that they're appearing so we only need a thousand that's not too bad okay there's our lead to gold just in time too. Let's also upgrade this guy to be a crossbow to get rid of these camos. Okay, and this is the setup that we're gonna use until round 40. Should get us quite a good amount of money here. Sell this. Okay. So we have our radar scanner. Our ninja monkey. Our bomb shooter. And our sniper. Upgrade our sniper. Upgrade our bomb shooter. Now, let's save up for the ninja this time. Okay, and sticky bomb. Make sure that's targeting strong. Immune to military. So we're going to set this to close. So that anything that actually can hit is nearer to it. Rock balloons, looks like we take care of them this time. Let's get down a second bomb shooter just to be ready for it though. Because yeah, you can see some are making it through. Then we're also going to do attack shooter right here. With an overdrive. Just once again to help, because we're still leaking lives and I'm really not happy about it. We should have set this sniper to strong earlier, but we did now. Try to get some more farms in while we can. Okay, now let's get rid of this. Alright, so definitely not the smoothest run I've ever seen, but we made it through, so we can sell off the things we don't need. Let's wait for this to finish. Okay, I'm going to start by putting down my one farm Monkeyopolis. I forgot to even upgrade these, so that's great. Wasted a bit of money there. Put down our monkey farm. Now let's sell this one off. Buy our monkeyopolis. Now let's start filling in this area over here with these marketplaces. And let's sell these off and put them over here. Make sure to give this bigger radius too so that we can fit more. These farm placements are going to be a bit weird. I'm not a fan of this map and farming. They don't go together very well, in my opinion. I saw a spot over here. See if we can get it. Five minutes later. There we are. Okay. So we're going to try to keep these 
uh, recursive clusters because those are going to be very helpful. Let's play through a few rounds like this. That was rough. I played through Dreadbloon a few times and when I played through it, it went fairly well. That did not go very well, so we definitely need a stronger setup than that. I think for now, we're just going to get down as many... Let's remove that so we can get down a few more farms here. We're just going to get down marketplaces for round 40 through 60. Now let's just let these farms play through and get some cash. Turn auto start off now, even though it's around early. Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do here. So we're going to put down our ninjas because ninjas do really, really good damage. So we'll probably do two of them here at the beginning. We'll do one over here. Now let's sell this banana farm. And let's see if we can get... Okay, perfect. So we're going to put attack zone right here we're gonna get a monkey intelligence bureau let's see if we can fit this in a good spot looks like that's the best spot we're gonna get and we're going to give it arcane mastery we're so close to arcane spike wow and what else could we use here let's see how this does this might be able to just carry us through like this Let's get our arcane spike. Start upgrading the ones around our monkeyopolis into our central market. Sorry, I am struggling today. Okay, and now our tax zone should really shine. Yep, just shredding through. And while we have everything kind of stuck in this area because he moves so slow, our tax our tax zone should take him out mainly on his own get through the immune to magic phase here. I saw that one coming. But we... Okay, interesting. That didn't do as much as I thought it would do. Rock balloons are really tricky. I am not sure what the best way to beat them is. Let's sell the things off that we don't need. Once again, we're going to rely on these, but we're going to add in a third now. That was looking pretty dicey. Let's also get a rubber to gold. I kind of forgot to get that. Let's get two of them. That was really dicey. We're at 35 lives, so this is not going exceptionally well. We definitely need some better defense for next time, so we just need as much money as we can possibly get. We're going to farm like crazy. In reality, this isn't actually doing anything besides letting them see camos, so I'm kind of wondering if we sell this and get the cash for now. Nah, we'll just keep it. It's too late at this point. We're gonna go for central markets here, and then round 80 to 100, we'll use more of... We'll try to use 420s from round 80 to 100. In hindsight, I probably should have put my engineer monkey closer to this so that it got the range of the camo detection, but it's working out okay. Since I don't really know what to do, and this is my first time playing Dreadbloom, at least my first time Dreadbloom's been out to play him, we're just going to absolutely overkill this next round. We're going to use stuff that we didn't even think we needed, so we're not going to go for the max money and keep all the farms. We're probably going to sell most of our farms and just get down way too many things. And let's let the game play itself with this last few rounds. Okay, one round left. Auto start off, and let's let it play itself out. Time to absolutely overkill this. So let's sell off most of these farms here. Honestly, we could go for a Paragon here. Let's do it, because why not? We'll get the Paragon down right in the center over here, because we want it to have uh, the ability to break everything. And if we upgrade this to a Call to Arms eventually... That just seems better. So we'll put down our three monkeys. Upgrade the top one. Center. And bottom path. We need to sell one more farm. Two more farms. Okay, so we have our paragon. 
Now, with the rest of the money that we have, let's do... So, over here, we'll do our Avatar of Wrath. Right here, we'll do a Master Bomber. And this should take it out. This is probably already insanely overkill. It doesn't actually get through this first stage as fast as I was hoping. Partly, that's because our Avatar of Wrath isn't in the right spot, so let's move it into a better area. That damage is much better. Now, while I'm thinking about it, we should probably start placing some farm specs so that we get that money. Okay, and now we shred through it. Alright. Alright, so we've killed it. Let's wait for this to finish off. I think we're going to keep the Master Bomber because these rounds are starting to get quite a bit more difficult. We're now going to go for some 420 farms. Let's put down three 420 farms around our Monkeyopolis. Upgrade that, and now let's start placing even more 420s. We'll upgrade one of them to be our Banana Central. And we're not making as much money at the start here, but as soon as we start getting down more farms, it should speed up quite a bit. Whoa, okay, that just made it through. So let's get ourselves a Glaive Lord. I was kind of debating if we should have before now, but now that we're losing, we definitely need to get one. So what do we sell to make room for it? Our Engineer has done a lot for us. I don't know if he's going to be doing much anymore though, so let's sell him off. Let's sell a cluster. And then let's just go there. And then red hot ranks as well, obviously. I feel like this boss has a much stricter rule set. We have like a max monkey amount, which isn't an issue for me because I'm not spamming down tons of things besides monkey farms, obviously. But also the fact that you have like limited heroes and things because I couldn't use Ben early game, which kind of sucks because I rely on him a lot. But the rule set just feels much stricter along with him being a tougher boss in my opinion. This boss just overall feels a lot more difficult. Okay, we might not be able to take that out. So let's get down, not over there, what am I thinking? Let's get down a main Moab targeting strong. I don't even know if that'll be enough. We'll play it on slow speed so we can see if anything gets over to here. Yes, but we survived that. Okay, that was that was close, but that should be the the big scare for us. We shouldn't have another scare like that. I absolutely hate DDTs. I need to find a way to deal with them better. Because right now what I use to fight them is basically harsh words, which doesn't do too much. While I'm thinking about it, we probably should have done this a while ago. We need to start getting an overclock to buff our our banana central. Maybe we go for a boomerang. Wow, okay, Glaive Dominus is actually locked. Shoot, that could make things really difficult. I was about to say, let's just use that. We could go with an engineer paragon if we can get enough money. I don't know if we can. We could also do a super mines. Supermines aren't locked. Let's do a supermine, so let's sell off some of these. Okay, and we'll do our supermines once again, kind of like over here, I guess. Let's get an artillery battery for the boss. I don't have pop and awe. I probably should get it, but we can do an artillery battery. That'll do damage. Let's get our avatar of wrath over here. We're going to do an arc mage. Let's sell this cripple mob for now. We can place it back later in a better spot, but I want to get down a heli pilot and then upgrade it to either have a Comanche commander or an Apache prime. Moab shove is really good, but I think we're going to go with Apache prime just for more damage. Then let's put that sniper back down. We'll get an elite defender too, because that's going to be really good. And then we'll get that cripple Moab targeting strong. One of these should be a bomb blitz while I'm thinking about it. We should also have a few. We should have a Moab eliminator. 
But we should have a balloon crush right here in range of the village if we can. Let's see what we could do. We could sell that and do our balloon crush. The thing is, I don't know if this is overkill or not. It looks overkill, but I honestly cannot tell if this is going to be enough. This should be pretty good. Let's see how this goes. And let's also get down some more farms again. This is definitely doing a lot better. I haven't really been talking because I've been focusing on farms, but this is definitely doing better. We should easily take it down here. This immune to military phase is kind of annoying, but yeah, we overkilled it. Which is good because you guys can see how much I overkilled it and what you would need to do yours. I'm honestly going to sell that alchemist to get it out of the way. It's been in the way for so long. And we had a point for it, now it's not really necessary. And let's just get through this wave so we can finish up. The rock balloons are honestly the worst part about this. Also, I really need to make my cursor bigger. I keep losing it. The rock balloons are by far the worst part about this, in my opinion. Um, if they weren't a thing, this would be so much easier, which I know that's like part of the reason they exist, but I really dislike them. And tier 4 popped, nice. Now honestly, the thing is we don't have a ton of room for things, even if we were to sell things. We can sell off some things just so that we have room for a few more farms, like right here. Now we're gonna sell this one and upgrade that one instead to be a 205 so that it's a monkey wall street so that it's constantly collecting this in case I forget to. I don't really see any other spots where if I sold things, farms could go. There's like a spot right here, I guess. It won't... Oh, it will get Monkeyopolis coverage, which is nice. But that's about it. That is the only spots I can see. We should... I like that they still haven't fixed this, they just constantly cancel that out. I feel like they should just figure out how to fix this bug. Like, it's not that difficult to figure out how to fix. Maybe, I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not a game developer for them, so who knows. I think this is basically all we're going to need, though. This should get us a lot of money. I mean, we have 12 rounds, so let's just auto start it. And let's go through these rounds. Doing this on Elite would basically be impossible. I'm not going to attempt that. I'm telling you guys right now. You can ask for it in the comments, but that's not happening. I am physically not good enough at the game for that to be a thing that could happen. Okay, so we're definitely going to go, since they blocked out that Paragon, we're going to go for one of these. And let's, let's just sell everything, honestly. Everything except for these, because we're going to need these. sell that and instead get a jungle drums okay so we're gonna start with our paragon we'll put our paragon right here so that it should get the max range coverage possible and there's our paragon it doesn't why did i do a tier one wait a minute i should do a higher tier let's redo that all right and our apex plasma master tier 30 that's much better okay now let's get down our Engineer Paragon. Once again, we'll put this Paragon probably right here. I know that I could beat it with what I have. I just want to really overkill it at this point, because why not? There we go, $23. That is close enough. And let's see just how fast we go through this. Let's get down these. Yeah, so pretty fast, turns out. I mean, nobody's really surprised here, but... Oh, our engineer paragon's doing nothing, so we get to hear that amazing clicking sound. 
Let's look at which Paragon has the most. Definitely the Dark Monkey. And just like that, we have defeated Dreadbloon. Wow, okay, our star was actually a super mind. Interesting. I could try Elite once or twice. Probably not right now because I'm kind of dead after trying to figure out how to beat this. But if you guys do want to see that, let me know. Uh, make sure to check out the Discord. Link should be in the top line of the description. And yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and enjoy your day.